Okay, guys, so Patrick Marlowe has signed a one year deal worth 700000 for that one year with the San Jose Sharks. And he returns to the Sharks after being dealt by them to Pittsburgh at the trading deadline last <clears throat> last deadline in February. He's uh, he's a guy who's definitely going to help. He's not he's not going to be the Patrick Marlowe of old, scoring you know 25, 30 plus goals every year. He's probably more of a maybe 10 to 15 goal guy nowadays. But the Sharks do get him back. And with San Jose, I think they are still trying to stay competitive. This move definitely says that. I don't know what they're going to do on the Joe Thornton front. I think that relationship is a little bit rocky right now after he didn't get a chance to go to a contender at the trading deadline last year. But it'll be interesting to see what the Sharks do with that now. They don't have a ton of cap space, but they are infusing some young players into their lineup. And look, I think San Jose can be still very competitive this year. I mean, who would have seen... The, them having the season that they had last year who would have seen that coming with them finishing I think third worst in the league and eventually giving the Ottawa Senators the third overall pick which I'm very happy about of course but all of that aside I think the Sharks can still be very competitive for the fact that they have a Vander Kane, Logan Couture, Timo Meyer, Thomas Hurdle. If Carlson can get ever get his act together or even be half of his old self I think they'll be fine Brent Burns, I think, has still got some life in him. Velasic's still a good player. But these guys are getting older, so they're going to need some youth to come in and, and infuse themselves into the lineup here going forward. And for Patrick Marlowe, he now sits 45 games away from the all-time games played record. I mean, that'll just be absolutely insane if he can break that. I really hope he does. I hope he plays at least a minimum 50 games this year. Obviously, I want to see him be healthy and play the full 82 if he can. That would be great. But imagine if if he not only breaks the record, but he played long enough to get the 2,000 games played. I don't know. Obviously, no one's ever done that. But imagine someone getting to 2,000 games. I mean, just the celebration around that, the news that would be around that to play 2,000 NHL games. I mean, that's just unheard of. I don't know that it will ever happen. He would probably have to play another three seasons and stay healthy and play a full 82 for all those three seasons. That, that may be a bit of a stretch to get to 2,000 games played, but if he can even get the all-time record, that would be something in its own right, too. Of course, we know he provides leadership from the San Jose Sharks, too. He, he's a guy that, that can help their young players going, going forward if they are trying to get more of a, in a retooling phase where they bring in some young players. I think Patrick Marla will definitely help that as well. And despite this contract having no trade restrictions, no, no movement clause or anything like that, I think just because of Marlowe so well respected around the league in general, but especially by the Sharks management, of course, I don't think I see a scenario where he gets moved this deadline against his will. Obviously last year maybe he wanted to do it to try and win a Stanley Cup. With everything that's going on in the world, though, he probably wants to stay closer to his family. I know he's definitely laid down roots in San Jose. So I think that's going to be... Really good for Patrick Marlowe to stick there the whole year. This time he probably got insurance from Doug Wilson that he's not going to get moved at the deadline, no matter what the situation is, whether the Sharks are a contender or not this year. So for Patrick Marlowe, he probably has that security despite it not being written down in paper. But that's all I have to say for now, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments section below about all of this. Please like and subscribe and share this video. And here's to hoping that Patrick Marlowe breaks the all-time record and gets the most games played in NHL history.